And uh, that's when he walks into the house. And he, um, uh, Jesse tells his wife and daughter to go hide, like to get out of here. And he hides behind the door with a, uh, with a bat. And as soon as Ray walks in, that's when he hits him with the, the bat. And um, I think he, um, he thought he might have disarmed him or stunned him longer than he actually was stunned because uh, Jesse tries to run off through the hallway and he get, ends up getting shot in his back and mm-hmm. falls to the ground. And then that's when Ray uh, finds the daughter and, and the wife in the closet. And uh, that's when he takes Zoe, right? Mm-hmm. And shoots the wife in the leg or stomach or something. And um, um, that's when he carries her up the up the bed uh, up the stairs, and uh, pours gasoline on the on the stairs and lights it on fire so they can't come up after him. And um, the wife kind of crawls over to the husband and he's trying to get him to wake up. And then um, he kind of just out of nowhere wakes up and he's like, "Where is she?" And then uh, that's when they get outside and then he. He goes in to rescue her, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he then, goes up uh, with the um, with the same the guitar. Yeah. That he uh, that he basically leaves out earlier in the in about in the middle of the film. Raymond had left his guitar mm-hmm. for Zoe yeah. to kind of get on her good side. Yeah. And um, uh, very fittingly, so uh, Jesse ends up using that to kill him. Yeah, well, the the scene that the end scene was um, pretty insane because he he puts a ring of fire basically around the bed, mm-hmm. and, and the then, house starts becoming engulfed in flames at this point. And that's those visions that Jesse was getting of his daughter on fire, mm-hmm. and um, you see um, Ray's holding Zoe, and he's kind of pointing to the wall, and he's like, "Look there, look there! Do you see him?" And he was like, a "Seeing the devil," and um, that's when uh, Jesse breaks through the, the window and um, kind of uh, he tackles Ray on the other side of the fire and they're kind of wrestling and um, uh, Ray gets up and starts kind of slowly walking towards Zoe and just walking through the fire like it's nothing and then he kind of catches on fire and then you see his eyes turn red which was insane <laughs> like his, the fire goes into his eyes and he just looks super evil like he is the devil and um, that's when uh, Jesse hits him in the head with the guitar and then beats the shit out of him per- perhaps the the most metal yeah. moment in the whole movie Yeah, he just pummels him with the fucking guitar and, and you then see the blood yeah, and like, brains yeah, just, just fucking, shooting up into his face and then he so like the neck snaps off yeah. and then he just fucking it's funny because the neck snaps off and he looks at it and then he turns it upside down <laughs> and then just stabs him repeatedly in the back which he's like okay cool another weapon to use <laughs> and then he goes to town on him some more and because um, you have to think about the level of um, intrusion that yeah. happened from this guy yeah you know the multiple uh um, how do you say like I don't know he it was just like almost like a home invasion yeah over and it's over, that, and over just again. that built up of adrenaline and yeah and that urge to protect your family yeah it's like don't mess with the man's yeah. family just like you don't mess with the dog yeah. <laughs> you don't mess with the family yeah exactly <laughs> well you get the flying weed or the dome <laughs> you go <get>. yeah <laughs> exactly but yeah and then uh, we see Everybody survives, right? Yes, they all. Um, they're outside. They climb out of the window. They get down, and they're they're all hugging each other. And um, I think um, that's when uh, we get the title card again, right? Yep. Pops up, and then uh, for whom the bell tolls. Oh yeah. The Metallica. That's right. Yeah. Metallica actually gave them. Well, obviously they're playing the music, but they gave them the rights. To, to play the music. Nice. And that's a very hard thing. I don't know how familiar you are with Metallica, but they are notoriously uh, kind of uh, weird. Oh, really? That kind of kind of picky. Yeah, so that's a big thing for them. I wonder to... if they showed them the movie. Uh, as far as I know, they did. 
and they sent him yeah, the, this would be perfect. They sent him the script or the or they screened or the movie or something, right? and they were like, "Yeah, this is awesome," and they. Uh, they it's gave him the rights to put all this right. stuff, and that's why you, you see him rocking the shirts the whole, all the time. time. Yeah, the that was like Master of Puppets. Mm-hmm. She uh, Zoe has the Ride the Lightning shirt, yeah. but I that, that's my favorite album. Um, but yeah, this movie's awesome. Yeah, I have an interview if you want to check it out real quick. Oh, yeah, let's do it's it. about five minutes. Yeah, yeah, I'm a sucker for a clavicle. Yeah, I gotta think about that one for a second. God, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Sucker for a clavicle. That, yeah, that should be a T-shirt. It gets me every time. <laughs> you you do have a new movie. You just did you premiere yeah, it here? We, yeah, they yeah they screen it here. Um, yeah, The Devil's Candy. Yeah. Uh, it's Sean Byrne who directed and wrote um, The Loved Ones. Yeah. Uh, which is an absolutely insane Australian like torture porn ish film about prom. Um, uh, it's his second film. And this one, I wouldn't expect to go into it expecting the same that he delivered with the loved ones. Yeah. It's more, uh, it's completely different pace. The loved ones like reaches out and gets you right away, right. and it's just intense the whole time. This is this is a slow burner. It's uh, it's a family. It's a story about a family yeah. and a guy that um, has lost his parents and. Like mental illness, are we mentally insane or is there possession? Right. Is the devil real? There's some dead babies in it. Awesome. And it's really beautiful. It's like the most, it's the most highbrow movie about dead babies <laughs> ever made. Once again, it's a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Tagline on the back of the book. <laughs> <DVD. laughs> but I, I had really good responses. Everybody, I, I admit, I was doing another function last night so I missed it unfortunately yeah. you need to play it louder uh, that's the thing when you like it, it it's great lovely yeah. looked great it needs to be louder okay, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll, I'll tell Jason yeah, that hit, no, hit, you know him. Wait, no 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 no. Jason's rad love <laughs> Jason no but when you watch it yeah loud. Well, I need to watch it loud yeah yeah watch okay. it loud when like you're like this is good no turn it up a little so, more so anybody who watches it yeah watch loud. it loud yes it's a loud one mm-hmm. um yeah. But is it going to be a theatrical release or is it uh, going to be a DVD, Netflix? We're doing uh, independent theaters yeah. around the United States. There's there's a site. I bet IFC, because it's been out through IFC. Oh, yeah, um, the distribution. Yeah, so they, there's I think on their on their website there's a link that it'll show you what little independent theater near yeah. you is playing it. So if you're lucky to have an Alamo draft house near you, yes, you can exactly. see it there. Yes, yeah. exactly. Um, so if you have that, I recommend going on that. Support yeah. Support the local cinema. Sneak in some popcorn, but you know, yeah. don't sneak. That's how they make their money. That's now. the way they make their Don't money. sneak in popcorn. I, I, I was going to chastise you for that one, but, I know. but we don't yeah. have to now. Yeah, don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, and then it's VOD, like uh, iTunes, Amazon, all that yeah. stuff. And then I think it'll be on DVD in like two months. They'll do, they'll do some fun thing with the release. Like Mondo's doing the vinyl. Okay, well, the soundtrack. Yeah, then if, if Mondo is handling it, then it's yeah. definitely going to be through yeah. Alamo Draft House. Yeah, they they were. The soundtrack I think comes out in a week or so. It's got Metallica, Slayer, Son O, Ghost, stuff. So so pretty much that that means the movie had a good budget to it. Good they can afford it those guys. No, no, it didn't. Those guys are just big fans. They, were, so they, they sent. They gave us the move, the music. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's yeah, really, really yeah. Rare. It was small budget independent movie. You know, yeah. shot in Austin, Texas. Did it in just a couple, I think two, three, three, three weeks, three weeks. Nice. What, yeah. what locations are you using in Austin? Uh, the house. There's a, it's it's sort of like a mix between Amityville horror and like uh, 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 Angel Heart. Was that that? Yeah. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey Rourke. Rourke. Yeah. yeah. It's like Angel Heart, Amityville horror meets what movie kills babies. I mean, any good movie goes. Yeah, yeah. I, I think pornography really. It's, <laughs> well, I mean, what do you masturbate to? <laughs> Ouch! But, but that might, that would be cut out. <laughs> That would be the whole. Interview. It would only be my that, response if I responded to that. That would be my response. Everything out. They're gonna cut everything out, but that. <laughs> um, and then we're both going to hell. Yeah. But, uh, they're gonna have a lot of editing. They're gonna have to do. Uh, actually, Antichrist killed the baby. 
Did, that's right. Yeah. They did. That's, they did that's, that's right at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. They did. So it's Amityville Horror, Angel Heart mixed with Antichrist. Yeah. Which I think two out of three of those are IFC Midnight films. There you go. IFC apparently <laughs> does not like babies. They don't like babies, but they like Satan. It's, it's like if you're going to make a trauma film, you have to have diarrhea, exploding tits, and that one car. If you're going to make an IFC film, you yeah. have to have a dead baby. They had a trauma booth here. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Hoskins here, too. So we interviewed him, and it's it's right. pretty much unusable because the guy's riffing the whole time. It was, it was great. It's almost as unusable as this. But almost, but this this still we can we're at least calm. <laughs> <laughs> so they can just dub us. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Subtitles. It's gonna be like a like a like a Japanese kung fu or kung fu film. Uh, uh, oh. Seventies. Greatest greatest foreign thriller. I saw the devil. Have you seen it? Have I seen Whoa. it? No, no, I haven't seen Dude. it. Dude. Yeah? Have you guys seen I Saw the Devil? I have to Bro. look up and ask them if I saw it because I, I can't retain anything. It's, well, it's about the uh, the cop. His wife is murdered by yeah. a serial killer. And then the, his police force takes him off the case because that's his wife. Right. But he says, fuck that. And he, it's like, it's the best torture porn movie ever. <laughs> Ever. All right. Well, yeah. that's that's on the so recommendation good. list. Yeah. But Ethan, I, I got to wrap it up because I, I know you. I'm out of here. I got to go sign some shit to do. Yes. So, yes, sir. It's been an absolute pleasure. Likewise, Thank sir. you very much. Likewise. All right. That was Ethan Embry at the uh, Horror Hound Weekend last year in uh, Cincinnati, where they showed the film. That guy sounds like a real horror buff. Do you think so? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I just think he's a cool... He's just a cool guy. He seems like a really cool guy. I mean, he was in... Um, uh, Can't Hardly Wait. Yeah. Empire Records. He's uh, had a little part in uh, Walking in, Dead. He was in uh, Vacancy. Yeah. He's the mechanic. Right. Yeah, that's right. He's a very good uh, supporting actor, but yeah. it was awesome to see him... The leading be, role. Yeah. Yeah. And he it's just spotlight. killed it. Yes, he did. Definitely he was like it. he was super ripped in this movie. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he cut so much weight. I mean, I don't know if he was a. He not he's not a heavy guy. Yeah, but he. I didn't think he was ever like that. No, but he was down. Yeah, he must he, have lost a lot of weight just yeah, to he looked, like a starving artist. He but he looked like almost like Bruce Lee, like cut. Like yeah, like the, that much cut. Yeah, like all muscle. Yeah, there. it's like fucking nuts, dude. Like point five percent fat. Definitely <laughs> looks different. Yeah. And the hair, but at the was same the hair all his too? No, I think uh, I think that was probably extensions. Okay. Or yeah. But it looked good. It, it did. Yeah. It, it fit matched, his character. It, it matched. Um, they matched his like beard, his beard and everything. Color, and yeah. It looked, yeah. You don't question it. No, not at all. <clears throat> and then at the same time, he looked worn down he in his face. You know. All yeah. The time. Uh-huh. Like, uh huh. Just yeah. very like. Uh, Oh, broken almost. Yeah. But then, what was cool was because the when he would be around his family, that would change. Yeah, because you'd, you'd see be like, happy and you'd see like this light uh-huh. about him and, until he wasn't around them or whatever. So it's pretty cool. Very interesting yeah. movie. Uh, thank yes. you for picking it. Definitely check it out. This is a great episode. Great, yes. uh, very fast episode. Very confusing for the listeners. I'm sorry. We yeah. apologize. That's uh, all right. That's we why we little, said to watch it first. We were a little mixed up, but if you have watched the movie, if you did watch the movie, you know where we were wrong and where we were right. But um, we hopefully we, uh, you know, we put everything back together the right way. Uh-huh. And, uh, well, we got you at least, if you listened to this before you watched the movie, at least we got, uh, got you questioning what, what we're talking about. Yes. Ma- like maniacs. Yeah. Just and, uh, uh, check definitely it. check it out if yeah. you haven't. And Netflix. If you have, check it out anyways. Again. Exactly. Yes. Or go, buy out, go, go buy it. Go buy the hard copy. Go on. Go to Amazon and buy it. I know buy the vinyl. Amazon. Yes. Do, yeah, buy the soundtrack. Yeah. Just uh, get your Satan on. <laughs> Be safe today. Yeah. It's Black Friday. Don't get uh, crazy. Don't get trampled. Black Metal Friday. Oh, yeah. Uh, I feel like the trampling doesn't really happen anymore. Not anymore. It's I just remember like, a couple years ago seeing videos of people like 
breaking like Walmart doors down because like they were trying like I could see like people getting pressed up against the wall it's and like it's like it started like cracking <laughs> and I'm like what the fuck like calm down it's not it's a it's just a 55 inch TV people it's you know and it's like an element yeah or some it's like it's an off brand that you're, it, it's not a Sony or some fucking like you know video Vizio, or whatever yeah. like oh my god they need to get this uh, Westinghouse um, <laughs> this Westinghouse 67 inch. <laughs> That's-